friends welcome to one little coder today in this azure ml tutorial we are going to learn how to deploy a streamlit application that looks like this on azure microsoft azure the cloud service what we are not going to do is we are not going to use azure cli or anything sophisticated so this is going to be very basic in explaining you how you can use just simply azure portal and then deploy your streamlit application with ci cd continuous integration and continuous deployment where any change that you make in this repository from github would also get reflected on the application that you have deployed so what are we going to do we have a streamlit application the code base on our github repository we're going to connect that github repository to azure services and then we're going to deploy the streamlit application so this is this is what we are going to do in this video first thing that you need to know is for us to run a streamlit application you you streamlit is not a just a client-based application it needs a server which means you need a machine or you need an instance where you can run python so for that we can simply use app services from azure first i'm going to click app services and then i'm going to click create an app service so this will help us create an app service and then here you have to select the resource group um if on your azure um, um service it might be something else but yeah you need to create select the resource group this next thing is you need to give the app name so that would be um, that would be your url so you have to make sure that uh, you know you're not uh, colliding with anybody else's name because it's of course a url so i'm going to say this this application is about uh, metrics dashboard so i'm going to say st metric dash um let's see if it is available it's available next thing is you have three options to select um whether you want to let me zoom in a little bit uh, you have three options to select whether you want to uh, publish with code which means you have to um, select the code second if you have a docker container you can easily up, um, upload it and publish it we are not taking the docker route because i want to make this tutorial as simple as possible for even people who do not know how to use docker so code docker container and static web app what is a static web app if you just simply have a, if, if you just simply have a html css javascript then it is a static web app so we are not we are not uploading a static web app in, in fact like we are uploading a python application so i'm going to select code and the next thing you need to do is you need to select the runtime so is your application dotnet based select dotnet is your application java based based on that in our case our application is of course python based streamlit application so i need to select some python version i'm going to pick the one in the middle which is python 3.8 once you select the runtime stack which is python 3.8 you don't get an option to select operating system but if you have an um, option to select an operating system you can select either linux or windows based on your comfort after you select the operating system in in, uh, in my case i've selected linux uh, the next thing is you need to select the region if this is going to be a production level application um, it's always good for you to have a region that is closer to your region and your target audience so you know you don't have a, you don't have huge um, um, huge difference in time um, when the calls are being made but you can select anything if you want i'm going to stick with central us for now the next thing is um, i have to select the plan i'm going to go with the existing one and the main thing is you have to select the SKU and size so i'm going to select change size and it's going to give me the spec picker so if you are going to use a production level application then you need to go to production tire this is this is um, this is a demo video and i'm going to deploy this uh, it's not a production application for me so i'm going to click dev test and i'm going to select the b1 so what happens is in the f1 the free tire you don't get uh, sockets enabled which means you cannot run your streamlit application so you need at least one level above the free level which is the b1 which is um, uh, which which is like 1.7 gb memory and uh, you know you can see the price also um, so uh, you can select production if you're going to have a production level application but if you're just going to have a hobby project or you're going to just test it out uh, you have to select b1 f1 if you select sockets are not enabled so it will not work streamlet will not work so you have to select b1 and then click apply at this point you can see that it has changed saying basic b1 the next thing is um, you have to click next that will take you to the next section where you can check a couple of options especially how can you connect your github repository um, to the to the azure azure app service that you are currently building you can see that it is taking a couple of seconds um, meanwhile you can go here copy the name because uh, the first time when you are going to connect uh, you have to link your github account in my case i have already linked the github account so enable the continuous deployment so you can see continuous deployment enable it 
the first time you have to connect your github account github or gitlab or bitbucket or whatever it is in my case i've already connected it you have to just give authorization once you connect your github account the next thing is you need to select the organization in my case i have only one the next thing is you need to select the repository and the repository name is what we just copied so just paste it here so it even if you paste it just make sure that you select the right uh, name so that um, so that you are not making any typos over there so just select the name and then what is a branch in my case i have only one branch but you've got a dev branch if you've got a staging branch a production branch a main branch just select the right branch that you want if you want to preview the github actions file uh, because it's going to create a github actions and we i have already given right permissions to azure uh, so that, that's why it, it, it can write um so just just make sure that so the next few things you don't have to do a lot so i'm going to click review and create at this point because i'm not going to do any monitoring um, activities so at this point you can just quickly review okay this is our app name this is our resource group this is the uh, we are publishing a code the stack that we want is 3.8 python it's on machine uh, linux and blah 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 and then i'm going to click create once i click create you can see that it is initializing deployment submitting deployment at this point you can see that it says it's been successfully deployed so go to the resource once you go to the resource you can see that st metric dash the name that we gave and then you can see um, all the details like to go to the deployment center first and then when you reach the deployment center so here you can see that it is connected to github this is your account id and this is the repository that it is you know you are um, you are checking so you can see the basic details over here and also note that there is a github action that has started on the repository that you have got so if i go inside the repository's github action you can see that it has two stages two tasks the first one is a build task and the second one is a deploy task what happens in a build task if you see is that it was it will take the existing code that you have got in your repository it will create a virtual environment and inside the virtual environment it will add all the dependencies for example it is going to do pip install r requirements.txt so it is very important for you to have requirements.txt inside your repository because that is what is going to be built here so there is in the build phase a virtual environment is created and then uh, dependencies are installed from your requirements.txt once that is done you can see that it is going to now push this entire thing like the artifact that is built from this it is going to push that entire thing into azure web app and um, ideally i think it will be pushed as a zip file so you can actually in some time when you see this thing you can also see that it is going to be pushed as a zip file so you can see it is downloading it and then it is going to upload into azure web app ml so meanwhile if we go back to the link that we just deployed so it says hey python developers your app service is up and running time to take the app to the next step and deploy your code now you might think why do you not see the streamlit application the reason why you don't see the streamlit application yet is because you have not run the streamlit application which means you deployed a python application or in fact like you tried to deploy a python application connecting with the github repository so what it just shows is that your deployment or the app service that you did is successful for example imagine like you have switched on a machine so this is very similar like uh, that your computer is on that your server is on like you switched on a non button and your computer is on your machine is on but still what you have not done is you have not connected the github repository where the your code is with your machine that's not done yet after this is done the next thing that you need to do is you need to start the start the code so now how would you make sure that the code is started every time like you need to make sure that um, every time um, this this machine is on that streamlit code is run like we all know how do we run a streamlit code right you need to go to configuration and here you have to give something called a start command so what is a start command the start command general settings a startup command sorry a startup command is what tells this app service that you have to always run this command whenever um, whenever something is up switch on this app service it has to run a particular command like you can see that provide an optional startup command that will be run as part of a container setup so you need to give the startup command that will switch on the or that will run the application for example 
once this code is deployed still you would not see anything here because still you have the code has been uploaded but the code is not started like it's not running the container is not running so you need a startup command that will run so now so the startup command that we are going to add is like this python which is to say that you know want to run a python command and then m streamlit hello hello is the basic default application so what i want to do is first i want to verify whether the streamlit has been installed and it is available to run then i can change it to um, the application that we want that's how i would usually do it but if you don't want to do it directly you can say app.py here so because um, streamlit run app.py so that that will run this particular app.py file that you have inside this so that will run this but if you want to first test whether streamlit has been um, you know up and running so start with streamlit hello so i'm going to do this and i'm going to save once i save it it is going to ask me you know you want to make changes make changes and you can see that it is updating the web app settings once this is done we are going to go ahead and then refresh our application streamlit application um, please note that whenever we do this refresh it might take a little bit of time and our application may not be as fast as it should be because the tire that in which we have deployed is not um, is not the production tire uh, so we can see that our hello streamlit hello has successfully worked so this is the basic streamlit demo and we also can see that our deployment has been successful so it took about eight minutes and then this has been successful but what we still do not see is the application that we want to see and uh, what you are right now seeing is the hello page so what we are going to do now is we're going to go back click configuration go to general setting and once you read general setting instead of saying hello streamlit hello i'm going to say streamlit run app.py the reason why we are using port 8000 is that is a default listening port so we want to run streamlit on that and also for us to receive anything any incoming request so we are using 0.0.0.0 so now after adding uh, streamlit run app.py which is the name of the file that you have got here so if you've got a different name instead of app.py make sure that you know you select that but after that go ahead and then click save once you click save it's again going to ask you to um, confirm that you want to make the changes and then once you make the changes you can see that it says updating web app settings and um, once this is done so now you can refresh it continue it might take a couple of minutes but the app that we deployed is finally up and running and this also has ci cd what, what do i mean by that so right now so far what we have done is we have successfully connected our github repository deployed our application made sure that our application is up and running so now i can go here and then make a change in this code for example right now it says what does it say it says sales kpa dashboard right so right now i can go here and then instead of calling it sales kpa dashboard um i can i can call it something else like i can say sales kpa dashboard with nice charts and i can save it the moment i save it you would see that the github action would start running uh, my main action so now it is going to restart the entire procedure which means like what we saw at the start um the build and deploy it is going to happen the same thing again and after everything is done when you open your application um from the like from the url where you deployed this you would see the latest name like sales kpa dashboard um whatever, whatever the name that we give so this is the ci cd aspect that we talked about continuous integration and uh, continuous uh, deployment so this is this is basically a quick um, tutorial on how you can deploy your streamlit application on microsoft azure but let's say that you've deployed it and uh, the deployment method that we have taken we have made sure that we don't want to use azure cli we didn't want to use docker we wanted to keep it as simple as possible so for example now you have deployed it you want to change it to higher tire you can go change it uh, you can scale up the application you have options to scale up scale out but let's say you don't want to use this application at all you want to get rid of it so now you can go click delete and you have to enter the app name so what is the app name that we gave we gave st metric dash and uh, after that you can click delete and then the app would be deleted so this is the step this is how you would de delete an app service for example if you are deploying it for your hobby purpose then this is how you can delete your app service and that's it so it's not found you can see that the app has been deleted um, and that's it so that is how you would start with deploying an application and then you would finish deploying and our github action failed because you know of course the resource is not available but uh, the point is 
um, now now this link also would not work because the website is not found because we shut down or we deleted the app service so this is how you would uh, deploy a streamlit application on microsoft azure using app service without docker without azure cli and then also you can shut down or delete the service i hope this video was helpful to you in uh, learning how to deploy your streamlit application if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise happy coding